Okay. All right. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, we're really happy to be here with you all today. And um, as I already said, I'm Lem Gongala, Program Coordinator with Core Africa, and I will be talking to you about um, the Core Africa Research Mentorship Scheme. So before I go into that, I'd just like to start with a little background on what Core Africa is all about and what we do. So um, we're basically a research organization and um, we're led by a team of African researchers. We're based in Cameroon and also registered in the UK. Um, our overall aim is to improve research capacity in Africa. And we do that by um, identifying challenges that researchers face in different African countries. So different groups of people who do research and we also provide research support services um, based on the needs of these groups of people. And one of those research support services is mentorship. Our mentorship program is research-based, as I've already said. Um, so it's based on the needs of mentees and on the expertise of mentors. Um, our mentors are generally experienced researchers, people from different backgrounds and different fields who've been doing research for um, a number of years. So ideally, we start from um, like five years and above, but we've also got some researchers who are like three, three years in, in the field and they all volunteer to um, mentor people who are um, who have less um, research experience. Our mentees as well are people from different backgrounds and different fields. Um, mostly we have students and young researchers, um, young just meaning that they have less um, experience in doing research and not by age. Yeah, so our, our, our mentor-mentee pairing is generally based on the needs, the research needs of different mentees, which I'm going to talk about later on, and the expertise of, of, of the uh, different mentors. So um, one of the hallmarks of our program is simplicity. And um, the reason is um, a lot of things around research are usually very, very complex. So um, information about research is always very difficult to understand. And the main purpose of this program is to simplify that informa information so that our mentees can be able to get the knowledge that they need to then use to develop their own skills and um, to conduct um, their research projects. So it's basically, basically people who've been through certain challenges with conducting research and having worked through these challenges and found a way to move forward then guiding people at that particular stage um, of the research process so we follow a three e's approach and the first e is for empathy so our mentors um I generally um, show interest in mentees projects, uh, the different projects they're working on, and also show on, an understanding of um, the men of mentee situations and mentee circumstances. Our mentors also empower mentees uh, by assisting them and enabling them to conduct their research projects as much as they can. And finally, encouraging giving them um, positive compliments, uh, positive comments, and um, generally appreciating their research efforts. So um, I would be talking about the key areas that we focus on in our mentorship program. So there's lots of them. All of them are different aspects of conducting research. So one of the main ones is um, developing a research topic. So we have mentees who come into the program, have amazing ideas that they would like to work on, but I, I, they have no idea how to put these, pro these ideas together into a feasible um, research topic or research question. So our, our, our mentors are there to guide them in, in actually developing this research topics and we also put a lot of emphasis on mentees actually working on projects that um, add value to their societies um, rather than just you know doing research and anything that seems to be um, the easy easy route. Um, secondly, our mentees also guide our mentors also guide our mentees in identifying relevant literature for their research projects and you know guiding them on how to use different such techniques, um, using advanced such techniques on different databases. Um, for their research or for doing the show reviews. And we've got mentees as well who come to the program um, looking for um, guidance on how to write a research proposal. Um, could be for academic research, maybe master's PhDs or for their own personal projects or professional work. So I met and mentors guide them in, in writing their research proposals. We do a lot of mentorship as well on research methods. Um, 
several of our mentees are usually not sure what approach would be more suitable for the ideas that they have. So our mentors are there to guide them to make sure that they select the uh, most suitable research design and choose a suitable research methodology. Um, that also goes into um, data collection methods and data analysis methods, training them on the different um, stages involved in all these analysis um, methods and best practices to adopt. And also there's general guidance on scientific writing. Then um, around, re around writing and reporting um, research findings, there is um, a lot of work that we do around referencing and plagiarism, and uh, mostly because the population that we're working with, especially, um, we found that there's a bit of a lack of awareness on the relevance of referencing and the implications of plagiarism. So our mentors are there to guide mentees in understanding why this is important, uh, especially in the scientific community and in reporting research findings. So we also try train them on using different referencing tools um, and how to identify you know, practices related to plagiarism. And then there's um, mentorship on publishing research findings, um, starting all the way from uh, formatting their manuscripts, identifying suitable uh, journals to publishing. We also talk a lot about even sharing your findings in repositories if you're unable to actually go through the whole process of, of, of uh, publishing a journal. And then we provide mentorship on addressing um, uh, peer reviewer comments. And there's also other e extra things like um, grant applications, conference presentations, so many other things that we focus on as well, but are all related to the whole process of conducting research and, and disseminating research findings. So um, mentors and mentees initially were able to interact both physically and virtually, but with the whole COVID-19 situation is, is mostly now gone virtual. So communication is mostly by um, phone calls and WhatsApp communication, emailing, Zoom teams and so on. And there's a lot of challenges, especially in the African context with internet connection. So there are times when our mentors and mentees would have to communicate through voice notes because you, place, you try to place a call and the call just can't go through and things like that. So we have to find various ways that we can reach our, our, our mentors and mentees. Uh, mentorship activities involve a range of things. So no two experiences are the same, they're all different uh, based on what mentees needs are. Um, we do both one-to-one -one mentoring and group mentoring. So one-to-one -one is where we pair one, one mentee to one mentor and group mentoring, we put a, a, a group of mentees with similar needs um, who are then being guided by um, one mentor. So um, mentors actually provide guidance through um, simplified explanations, um, giving presentations, maybe on Zoom or PowerPoint presentations. Um, uh, mentors also provide feedback on report drafts of, of our mentees. They give mentees tutorials and exercises for them to practice the things that they're trying to learn. And, and we hold group discussions and we have webinars. And there's also a general um, um, culture of networking and trying to connect people to other people who could be useful to their research experiences. And here is just a screenshot of a few examples of different projects that our mentees work on. Um, so like I said before, they're all from different backgrounds and different things. So we've got people working on things like um, water supply, COVID-19, there's health related and so on, different things. Yeah, and here is just a final slide with a few comments from our mentees um, and our contact details. And um, that's the end of our presentation. Thank you.